Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to have a little bit of fun. So, first and foremost, you might be saying, Judge, are you reviewing Peerless? No, I'm not reviewing Peerless. <laughs> I'm actually gonna dive into my five favorite Kentucky distilleries to visit as it relates to tour. So, I get a, I get the question a lot from, actually a lot of times like from my patrons. My patrons will reach out to me and they're like, hey, Judge, I'm going to Kentucky for the first time. What are five distilleries that I have to visit from like a, let's call it like a tour experience or just the distilleries themselves are really cool. The tours are really cool. And why, why and which ones would you visit? So I'm going to share a little bit of secret with everyone out there and give you my personal five favorite distilleries um, to visit when you go to Kentucky. Now I will say a couple of things. I'm not gonna go into each one uh, in terms of like, you know, the hours of operation, like they open at 8 a.m. and blah, blah, blah. None of that nonsense. Obviously, you can, of course, go to their website. Every distillery has different hours of operation, different tour hours, and even different types of tours. I'm just gonna tell you the five distilleries that you definitely wanna visit and the reason why I personally love them. And I will say, all of these five, I've been to myself on numerous occasions. That just shows how much I truly love these distilleries and more important, the experience. So I'll share the reason why as I go through them. Cool? Oh, awesome. All right, let me go ahead. So I did um, start figuring I might as well go ahead and sip some Peerless because guess who the first distillery is that I would visit <laughs> every time I go to Kentucky? It is Peerless. <laughs> All right, so why do I love Peerless? So I think first and foremost, Peerless located right right downtown in Louisville. Uh, the owner, Corky, and his team, they do a fantastic job of really just being very hands-on. Number one, they have a very small like kind of approach to it, meaning that there's a small team that works there, and everyone that works there, they do every single job there is, from the gift shop to giving the tours to working in the Rick House. I mean, everything, right? They do everything on site right there in downtown louisville i love that team um i think number one their tours are absolutely fantastic the history of, of the whole peerless uh story and like just corky's family kind of you know going back uh as well to like uh the original you know his family members that started it fantastic i also love the fact that when you go to peerless at the end like any, every other tour at the end when you're sitting in the bar area and you're getting some uh some pours there they are not chintzy on their pores. No cheap pores, as uh, Cousin Nita would say. They are pouring some deep pores. And the cool thing about it is that they'll let you try multiple different um, either bourbons or ryes that they have available. The last thing I will say about Peerless is that they always have on site multiple different single barrels. So they always have like their almost like their creme de la creme, like their top single barrels. They always sell those at their gift shop. I love that. Uh, so this one here, this was not a single barrel, but they, I did buy it at the actual gift shop. This is their double oak, which was available in multiple places in Kentucky, but I bought it at the distillery. But this one here, for example, single barrel, peerless. I actually had, this is my second bottle of this one here. And this one was, which, oh, this was the uh, Fire Roasted Toffee, a single barrel collection. This one was amazing. I bought two bottles of it because it was that good. When I tasted it on site, I love this so much, I bought two bottles. This is my second bottle that I haven't tapped, to, tapped into as of yet. All right, so that is Peerless. Right downtown Louisville, fantastic, great, you know, just a hands-on experience. You will love everything about Peerless. All right, I need a sip real, real, real quick, friends. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. Moving to number two, and by the way, these are not in order. These are just five that I absolutely love. Moving to number two, Barstown Bourbon Company. Barstown Bourbon Company is cool for a lot of reasons. Number one, the distillery itself is just damn beautiful. It's a modern distillery. You know, it's brand new within the last 10 years, so it doesn't have all the history as like a lot of the older distilleries, but it is really cool because their tours, they start you off actually inside the building, really nice, and then you end up walking outside what I loved about it when I went on my, well, actually a couple of different tours I went on, we had a chance to sample um, Fusion, Bar Sound Fusion, straight from the barrel. So we had the Fusion series straight from the barrel. So it wasn't like the 98, 99 proof once they watered it down. It was the Fusion straight from the barrel. And that was amazing. Now I should say we have already had, had their various different products actually inside Bar Sound Bourbon Company. So when we went to the Rick House and was able to sample it directly from the barrel, I was like, yes and yes. <laughs> and it was that damn good. 
I do love the people at Barstown. Good people. I think they take their time with their tours. They, um, they're just really good people as a whole. Another cool thing about it is that, as you know, with Barstown Bourbon Company, they do what's called contract distilling. So a lot of other companies and brands can distill there using, you know, the brands, their own, let's call it, you know, uh, yeast strain and so forth. But they're using Barstown actual property, even to age it. So when you're walking through the Rick houses, kind of cool when you look up above and you see all these different brands that contract distill right with Barstown Bourbon Company. So you're like, ah, they don't have their own distillery or they may have their own distillery, but they're using the majority of uh, Barstown facilities for the actual distilling as well as for the Rick House as well. So that's pretty cool. And last thing but not least, why I love Barstown Bourbon Company, come on. The Bourbon Judge loves a good meal. Yes, I do. I love a good meal. They have their own restaurant on site and the food is absolutely delicious. Love, love some Barstown Bourbon Company. All right, going to number three. One of my, probably my favorite distilleries out there. One of my favorite distilleries, Michter's, downtown Louisville. So why do I love Michter's? So I will say um, where Michter's has like their large presence, which is right outside of Louisville, unfortunately can't visit that actual uh, facility. But in the downtown Louisville location, they give a great tour. They're very hands-on. Um, I liked it for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're very hands-on, very, very, you know, straightforward in terms of like, you know, you get to ask a lot of different great questions. Um, I also love the fact that when you're done with your tour, you can go upstairs. They have a nice little bar area in case you want to try some of like the older uh, mixture stuff, like the age 20 or 25 years. They do have it there. A little bit pricey, but at least they have it as well. And then the last thing I love about mixtures is that if you book it online and you go through all like the process to make sure that you get that specific tour um, or even just reach out to the victors to ask this question, you can also bottle your own version of your barrel of their barrel strength rye. So I did it myself while I was there. I mean, when in Rome, why not? Costs a little bit more, of course, obviously, but this, this is the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. So you got the front of the label. I got my name on the front. You open up the, uh, the box. You got the bottle in there again with my name. I mean, Mictors just does it right. It's so cool, and their whiskey is just that damn amazing. I love Mictors. And uh, also, when I was doing the tour, again, they offer a lot of their various whiskeys. We even try some of their upper end stuff, which is really cool, too. They let you try, like, the 10-year bourbon, the 10-year rye. We tried that, and it was absolutely amazing. Cool? All right. Real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are some of your favorite distilleries. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Cool? Awesome. All right. Last thing I need real quick, or last little, little let's just call it tidbit. If I didn't include other distilleries, that doesn't mean that they're bad. I've been to the majority of all the distilleries in Kentucky. They all do a good job. I'm just calling out these are my favorite five. So other ones that are not on the list, great distilleries. If you get a chance, sure, check them out. But these are the five that, honestly, if you're going there one time, this is where it is. All right number four on the list so for this one gosh you have to give it up because it's just the history heaven hill heaven hill in my opinion does a fantastic job of their of their tours um when you you drive down the road you see all these big beautiful white brick houses i mean you're like wow you're thinking of every every sub brand that's out there no matter if it's like their larceny or the Bernheim or really anything. I mean, you just drive up and you're like, all right, I'm where it's at. You're at Heaven Hill. All their just, you know, great products that they produce from Larceny to Elijah Craig and so forth. The distillery, the tours, really cool tours. Um, you also have a chance to sample some good whiskey as well along the way. The gift shop is really cool. And I mean, Heaven Hill, they produce so much. You have to visit this distillery because it's just like the nostalgia. You have to, you know? All right, get a little bit more real quick here. Mm. Woo! This peerless double oaked is damn good. Coming in the number five spot, and remember, it's gonna be an asterisk at the end. The asterisk is actually a new, an up and coming distillery that I have not visited yet, but I will be visiting it in a few weeks. But I digress. Going back to number five. Friends, if you are going to Kentucky, you have to, and I mean, you have to visit, of course, none other than Buffalo.
Buffalo Trace. I mean, come on, right? I mean, we're talking about bourbon. We're talking about rye. We're talking about whiskey. How can you not go to Kentucky and not visit Buffalo Trace? They do a fantastic job with the tours, number one. You'll definitely try some different things there while you're there as well from a, a tasting perspective. Don't think you're going to try every single thing in the Buffalo Trace antique collection and you're going to walk away with Pappy or you're going to walk away with Blanton straight from the barrel. That ain't happening. I want to be just straight up and clear with you. It's not happening. Uh, at best in the gift shop, you'll be lucky if you get, uh, you'll either get either, you'll definitely get the Buffalo Trace standard product. That you'll definitely get for sure. Maybe if you're lucky, might get some Blantons, maybe some uh, even like a, uh, an Eagle Rare potentially, but odds are more than likely you're walking away with just a standard bottle. I say that though, it's still worth going because the great history, being able to see, you know, all the various different warehouses and see where they actually bottle like Blantons and so forth. It's just so cool. You have to visit it just because of the history of what they bring to the bourbon and the whiskey world. So those are my five. I hope you enjoy them. Um, again, I'm going to Kentucky myself uh, actually in a couple weeks and uh, I'll be visiting probably honestly all five of these because I love them that much. Uh, but in addition to it, for my asterisk, I'm actually going to be uh, touring, we refer to it as Nulu, aka Prohibition Craft Spirits. So they're up and coming, still sourcing a lot of this stuff from of course MGP, but they are laying their own barrels. It's just gonna take some time, but like you guys know me, I love, love, love myself some Nulu. So can't wait to check out uh, the Nulu folks and the Nulu team and uh, see what they're doing there. That'll be my new experience. All right, my friends, until the next time, peace, cheers, and salute. Take care.